Flat Rock Speedway has raced the same weekly division since 1977. Late models, street stocks, and figure eights. They'll run them all again this Saturday, but this is no ordinary Saturday. This week celebrates 70 years of racing. As BCSN's Joel Sebastianelli tells us, time speeds by when you're going fast and having fun. It started with a field and a dream. 1952, a group of businessmen and farmers combined all their assets thinking we'll build a racetrack and that sort of fell apart. With a little help, the dream materialized into 70 years of racing at Flat Rock Speedway. Sheldon Hayes, he owned Cadillac Asphalt Company in Detroit, sort of came in and rescued it. And uh, the vision was a, a rubberized asphalt, quarter mile paved racetrack. And that was built in 53 and the first race was run. When the next race is run, they'll celebrate the anniversary. Everything and everyone that entails. In the hands of Mark, later called Arca, for 60 of its 70 years, the track has been a run on the ladder for drivers climbing into racing lore. You would toil away at weekly racetracks around the country and build up your resume and develop, you know, a reputation as a winning race car driver so that you would get hired to drive a car, you know, that, that an owner had. Lee Petty won the first Flat Rock 500 in 1956. He's Richard's dad, the patriarch of the Petty family. On the way to Daytona, there's Ben Katona and Allison, Waltrip, Kimmel, and Venturini. Benny Parsons had his life changed when he was asked as a child if he wanted to go to Flat Rock. He said yes. His father owned a taxi cab service in Detroit, Harold Parsons. He raced at Flat Rock in the figure eight division, and that's where he started out. Because it was the entry level division, if you will. It was the least money that you had to put in a car to, to, to be able to race it. And so that's, you know, that's how he started. BP went on to win the Daytona 500 and NASCAR Cup Series Championship. But wherever careers start and wind up, Flat Rock has always been a family affair. We have fourth generation race car drivers, grandkids and great grandkids who are racing. Their predecessors were racing in the 60s and the 70s. Like Harold Cook and his sons, Terry and Jerry. We uh, were winning a lot of races there. That when both boys started racing in uh, the mid 80s, it was time to, we're working out of a two car garage. It was time to, uh, to step aside and let them do the racing, and they were both very successful at it. Terry going on racing in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, and my new, number two son went to work for uh, Joe Gibbs Racing and worked with Tony Stewart there. Cook's competitors and friends will get together Saturday at 6.30 to celebrate those who laid the foundation. In, in memory of guys like Joy Fair and, and Danny Bird and John Anderson. And celebrate those who will keep building the legacy putting the pedal down for decades to come. For the sacrifices that, that a lot of the drivers and the families have made, staying up late at night, skinning their knuckles, maybe missing a day of work, to be able to race on the weekend, it's everybody's pitching in to help make all that happen. Everybody is there for one reason, to have a good time, have, have some fun and enjoyment. I had my share of it for sure. In Flat Rock, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN.